Good afternoon, all, and welcome back to our weekly Eagle Forum Live Capitol Hill Report. I'm Kirsten Hassler, our Executive Director here in D.C., and I'm joined by my colleague. Tabitha Walter. Um, I am Eagle Forum's Political Director. So um, as we started out last week's Facebook Live, we want to continue the tradition. Um, Kirsten, do you have your mug? I do. Tell me so, the story behind yours. Okay, you can see it's my monogram. Nice. And my husband gave this to me as like a belated engagement gift randomly after we got engaged. It has my married, the H on it. So it's really sweet. Oh. I don't remember exactly what he got it for, if it was for a holiday or just because. It's been a while. <laughs> That's cute. Well, mine um, was actually a wedding gift from my husband. Oh, fun. <laughs> and um, I love pottery. I love local artists. And um, this was a local artist. Uh, you know, sometimes pottery can be really expensive and I can't afford it, but he managed to spare some, some change for that one. So. How fun. <clears throat> well, let's get down uh, to the report. So this past August, August 2019, the New York Times began an ideological initiative called the 1619 Project. This project's goal is to redefine our country's great history by bringing slavery and the contributions of African Americans into the center of the story. 1619 declares that instead of our founding fathers being the declaration or instead of our founding being the declaration of independence from the British in 1776, it, in, it instead should be August 1619 when the first slave ship was brought to Jamestown, Virginia. Yeah, let me read a description that's on their website. It says 1619 is not a year that most Americans know as a notable date in our country's history. Those who do are at most a tiny fraction of those who can tell you that 1776 is the year of our nation's birth. What if, however, we were to tell you that the moment that the country's defining contradictions came into the world was in late August of 1619, that was when a ship arrived at Point Comfort in the British colony of Virginia, bearing a cargo of 20 to 30 enslaved Africans. Their arrival inaugurated a barbaric system of chattel slavery that would last for, for the next 250 years. This is sometimes referred to as the country's original sin, but it is more than that. It is the country's very origin. What is so dangerous about this project is that it fails to recognize the ideals and contributions of our founding fathers and the purpose behind the Constitution. Among its claims, the 1619 contributors claim that the American Revolution wasn't fought for the defense of freedom, but to protect the institution of slavery. President Lincoln was racist and desired African Americans as a, or regarded African Americans as a problem that should be deported. And lastly, that plantation slavery was a form of capitalism. The 1619 Project's creators have also created a set of essays and curriculum to be put in K-12 through schools around the country. While slavery is inherently bad and its defeat was a good thing for our country, the 16 Project is revisionist history. It totally is. Um, even though scholars have declared the essay inaccurate, and the Times even came out with a correction to the author's essay changing all to some of the colony colonists fought the revolution to defend slavery. Um, the author, Nicole Hannah Jones, who wrote the project's main essay received a Pulitzer prize this week. It's definitely a sad day when anti-American revisionist history is celebrated worldwide. Not only does, is this bad for future generations when they become educated about slavery, but it really does a disservice to the things that we fought for and to the slavery that was overcome in our in our history of the United States. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we will be doing an upcoming podcast episode on this on our platform Engage with Eagle Forum, which you can find us on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, or even go to engagewitheagleforum.com. Um, and uh, let's see here, what else? We will also be providing some materials on our Eagle Forum website. And if you want any more information on this, I encourage you to just do a Google search of 1619 Project. 
you'll find a ton of information, not only from the New York Times, but also from a lot of different conservative platforms. Um, there's been numerous articles in the Federalist and National Review where you can find a wealth of information why this is bad. Um, again, if you want to get um, receive our Capitol Hill alerts, make sure you're subscribed to Eagle Forum's email list. Um, and without further ado, we will see you next Thursday at 2 p.m. All right. See you later.